All right, folks, just got a package in the mail. Let's see, wonder what it could possibly be. Actually, I do know. You can probably tell by the title what it is. This is super exciting. Oops. <clears throat> Almost got myself there. Here we go. Look at that. White River Knife and Tool. Woo. Oh, shucky ducky. They got a oh sticker. Look at that. Got a little sticker there. Put that somewhere. Some catalog of their stuff. And of course, we've got the uh, presentation box here. White River Knife and Tool Company. Sealed from the factory. So we're going to break the seal together. We're looking at the uh, Ursus Cub. And let's see what we've got going on here. Let's see. Tight fit. And da da da. Ooh. Ursus Cub 3.5 inch blade 7.6 overall magnet cut steel 62 to 63 HRC that's the magic number and micarta handle and kydex not just kydex but white river kydex we all know what that means it's just amazing and then do 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 <gasps> look at that oh my Goodness, that is about as cute as cute can be. And I'm I'm gonna guess this is probably gonna be super functional. Wow, Let's take a minute and soak that in. Whew. Look at that kydex right there. Yes. Nicely done. Got a little drain hole there. Alright, yes. There's our kydex sheath. This looks to be like a retention adjuster. You adjust the screw, you can adjust the tension. You got a ferro rod, looks like about a, maybe a 5 16 Some rubber, adjustable angle belt loop. That is in there like no tomorrow. Oh wow, okay, it comes right out. What? Look at that. That is the USA Magnet Cut White River. Feels good in the hand, and it's got uh, a 90 degree spine starting right about here, forward. That feels really good. This feels like a really great lightweight knife. This is no big knife by any means. This, this is the uh, brown burlap micarta full tang. Got some space in the back there for uh, some rope if you want to put that in there. Lanyard, saber. You can hear that sucker. Let's grab some paper real quick. Straight out of the factory. Super sharp. Yep. Here's next to my folder. Spyderco Pair 3, just to give you guys an idea that this is a, like an EDC size for sure. Three and a half inch blade. Let's roll in a couple other ones. Here's the uh, White River Firecraft 3.5. Give you an idea of what we're looking at here. The handle is going to be traditional and, and, and thicker. Let's roll in the FC4. 
Take a look at that. FC4 has got a uh, larger handle, good grip. <clears throat> this, if you've got super big hands, this one might not uh, fill out all the way. Let's take a look uh, next to the uh, Benchmade Bushcrafter. See the size there. The handle is definitely much larger. Definitely got more grip here. Some of the pommel sticking out. Here's a look at the blade stock for you. Alrighty, this feels like a like a really nice EDC backpacker blade. And then here we're taking a look at it next to the Gerber. Terracraft Definitely a larger Blade the Terracraft is different blade profile <clears throat> Let's take a look at it next to the uh, the White River FC um, PKO This is the uh, custom Puko and this is a Scandi grind. Definitely got a thicker blade stock. This is a nice one, especially if you like carving. And then of course we got our, our Bark River Bravo. Let's roll that one in. You can see the Bravo's got a little bit longer handle. A little bit longer blade stock. Convex, full tang. This one's uh Good in the hand as well. Also, definitely for light, lightweight backpackers who are looking for a heavy duty blade of a small size, this definitely feels like it can handle um, handle some pretty pretty decent task. Cutting rope, some light firewood fire prep, batoning some kindling. Probably very good on the uh, wood shaving size if you're trying to make some uh, curls there. Again, this is the uh, magnet cut, so magnet cut is supposed to be pretty stainless. Especially with a Rockwell of over 62, this edge should retain for quite some time. I love this. I love the sheath that comes with it. Again, no rattle at all. You know, it's going to be good upside down, especially with this retention screw. That's pretty amazing. The fact that they able to make such a high quality sheath magnet cut at the time of this filming it's um, $200 February 2024 once that breaks in that should shouldn't be as difficult to pull out it's smooth but it's not uh, slippery it's it's not grippy either it's like somewhere in between this uh, bark river has always felt uh, smooth and slippery they polish it I took the polish off to get a little bit more grip um, of course this FC series is is a little little more grippy the real one that has a lot of grip is this uh, firecraft 3.5 this you could like you could file some stuff down with this grip you hear that definitely do some, some with that uh the bushcrafter series from benchmade probably has a, a little bit more grip just because of all these different angles i mean it's not going to go anywhere um this terracraft is micarta as well it's pretty decent grip texture um, this one feels like it's gonna stay solid solidly locked in your hand just because of the curves that it has in here it doesn't necessarily have a coke bottle shape to it like this is more of a coke bottle shape here you can see the size difference there so yeah if you've got like medium small maybe large on the small side of the large, you can get a full grip on there. If you got big hands, probably gonna have a little, you probably should just go ahead and get the Ursus 45. I feel like that this is gonna be a, a knife that you can uh, take with you for small camp chores, maybe some uh, light backpacking if you're looking for a high quality knife. I mean, this blade stock looks, looks really good. I mean, let's just look at it compared here to the uh, the bench mate it's obviously thinner but that's no uh, that's no thin blade there here it is next to the uh, white river fc 3.5 here it is next to the gerber terracraft 
probably could pull out a couple other knives if we wanted to look at it but that's no it's no slouch when it comes to blade thickness and the, uh, the angle and the profile here looks like it can definitely do some some work looks like uh, from a drilling drilling perspective or centering perspective it looks like it's pretty set pretty set dead on with the centering chunk of wood here garbage wood to mess around with so yeah that's gonna work good for like drilling out holes okay this is uh easy wood right here yeah definitely get some curls going on there nice uh sharpened spine up here boom this is gonna work out great so this is uh to me it feels like that kind of knife that you want to go out you don't want to be overpowered or underpowered let me uh let me get the weights for you on this one so let's turn on the scale measuring in grams the whole setup is 224 grams and that's 7.9 ounces overall in package um by itself 4.8 ounce blade 136 grams Definitely a, a nimble blade. The balance feels like it's right about here-ish. Okay, let's roll in some other stuff here. Got a, another Gerber, and this is, package has the fire steel on it too. 7.3, 7.9, and uh, this Gerber blade by itself, 3.8. So definitely coming in underneath so this is the um, the Gerber principle relatively close now this principle is great in hand this is um, scandy grind so this this will definitely cut into wood pretty good good lightweight option USA made knife of course White Rivers another USAA made knife let's roll in a couple other blades so you guys can see for comparison this one right here is a Spartan blade. This is a, a bigger blade, just to give you an idea of what we got. This is the 1090 95 Provan Spartan, the recurve. And this is a, a Condor Basante. Just to give you an idea what some of these this looks like. You guys might be familiar with this uh, F this F1X, the um, the Falconeven. and the stock on the Falconeven is just crazy. This is a uh, a wood split knife. Let's put it that way. <laughs> this Elmax steel is crazy. Um, looking at a Condor knife. This is the Condor Aqualore. So if you uh, like the Condor Aqualore, we are looking at from here to here, roughly 3.5, yep, three and a half inch blade, handle 4.01. Taking a look here at the uh, blade stock. We are at 0.13, right behind the edge. If I can get it right, about 0.02. Handle thickness, uh, 0.73, 0.74-ish. So yeah, this feels like it's gonna be a uh, great EDC slash uh, camp, camp task kind of knife so thanks for joining me thanks for watching all right now peace